Like, I am a different person now in 2017 than I was in 2014. But here's what I can tell you. That person that lives in 2014 still exists. They still exist inside of me. And they still try to fight their way through every single freaking day. And it is the internal dialogue, that battle going on in your brain that you have to use to shut that down and to keep pushing forward, to keep pushing forward to, with the abilities that you now have, the person that you have become, the person that you have grown into, it pushed that person to the next level and to shut down that person that you used to be. But these words, words have so much power over your life, especially the words that are running through your, your mind all day, that internal dialogue that you cannot turn off. If we can't turn it off, what we can do is we can start to be cognizant of it, be self-aware of these things and start changing them for the better. Start changing them so that it in turn will change us who we are, which will in turn change what we do. You just gotta keep reminding yourself, past is the past. You are who you are, who you are in this very moment. And, um, and for me right now, that's a great thing. It's a great thing. Uh, but it's a good reminder for everyone that that internal dialogue is real and it's something that you will battle with all your life. You just have to learn how to silence it. You have to learn how to be able to uh, control it. You're never going to stop the negative thoughts from entering your brain. It's, it's a conscious effort to not allow them to, I guess, not bear fruit, but like not to allow them to stay there like they're going to come in you just have to be be able to make the decision to to let it come in and let it float right back out and not not hold on to it um, because they're all it's always going to be negative thoughts and as we look at our lives and whether it's our prayer life whether it's just the things that are running through our mind when we're driving from one meeting to the next whether it's the things that are running through my mind we're in the shower and we're getting ready in the morning and we're headed out the door saying i am always late well of course you're going to be late because you just said i am always late you just made a declaration that you are always late why would you not be late because you just declared it like i'm always late i'm always behind i'm always getting into trouble i'm always you know arguing with my spouse i'm always late on my bills each month if we started turning those statements into these affirmations that can breathe life into us by saying you know i am going to be on time today i am going to pay my bills on time i am going to hit this goal i am going to crush this goal i am going to make that deadline we will start to see a switch not only in the pro product of what we're doing but in our mindset as we're doing and going about the process of ultimately accomplishing those things